Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the sad girl under the tree. That's right, the sad girl under the tree. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in the area that we now call Spain today, there was a village which sat next to a river. I was told by my ancestors that this river flowed for over 500 miles. One day, in this village, a young woman went for a stroll amongst an open field of beautiful flowers. As she walked, she noticed off in the distance a young girl sitting under a tree. The young woman could hear the faint sound of crying coming from the girl, and that was enough for the young woman to become worried, and so she walked over to check on her. Why are you crying, child? The young woman asked. Are you hurt? Looking up, with tears streaming down her face, the young girl answered, Am I hurt? Yes, but I am not physically hurt. My father, my mother, and my two older brothers all hate me. They hurt me daily with their words, and it is to the point where I no longer wish to live. Feeling as if her heart were being ripped from her chest, the young woman cried out in anguish with the young girl. Indeed, I have felt how you feel, and I have wanted to end my life like you. However, if you would give me three weeks' time, I will go and bring you something that will help you to heal, and it will make you happy again. The young girl agreed to endure for three more weeks. The young woman then embarked upon a journey that was far too long and dangerous for the young girl. Indeed, even the young woman knew that she could die on this quest. However, to save a life, she thought that it was worth the risk. This place was not easy to find and it was not nearby to the village. Also, she had to face the dangers of predatory animals. Finally reaching the spot she was looking for, she set up things and then recited the words of power. Suddenly, As if by magic, a rope began to descend from the clouds. Wasting no time climbing it, the young woman soon found herself in the eastern part of heaven. Looking down at herself, she noticed that her arms had already begun to fade away. Sprinting towards an area that the ancestors called Heaven's Lost and Found, the young woman knew she was on borrowed time. If she stayed too long, she would fade away completely. Entering Heaven's Lost and Found, she called out to the beings nearby. The sad girl under the tree. Which box is hers? In unison, all of the beings pointed to the box at her feet. Grabbing it up, she rushed to take the box back to the sad girl. As she did, she noticed that when she climbed back down the rope, her limbs returned. Young girl, she called, finding her under the same tree. Here, this is yours. Opening the box, the young girl realized that contained within were all of the pieces of her that she had lost over the years due to her family's abuse. She saw her sense of self-worth in the box. She saw her confidence. She saw her self-respect. She saw everything she needed to see in order to want to continue living. Thank you, she told the young woman. You're welcome, she responded. And so, the morning motivation of the day is the sad girl under the tree. Can you imagine the world if you help others to heal and they help you in return? Can you imagine a world in which people are willing to sacrifice for others because they see them as themselves? Today, family, as you go about your day, there is a good chance you will come across someone with the exact type of problem you know how to solve. If that happens, think of this story and do the right thing. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope to the lot to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.